Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this Ace Magician Mini PC with an i5 11th generation Core i5, really capable one with up to 4.0 GHz speed. It includes a Windows 11 Pro, has 16GB of fast RAM, 256GB of SSD. By the way, it's available in a couple of different sizes of SSD, so it's worth to check it out. It has even included this Intel Iris Xe graphics card, which even supports some gaming, maximum of HK resolution, UHD. It has a built-in speaker and it has also an included fingerprint sensor and Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. Two. So it's very capable and here we can see we have the version in grey with 256 GB. The model type is TK11A0. So let's take it out of the box and see what we get. By the way, I'm going to show you everything in detail. I'm going to set up the windows. Then I do a couple of different performance tests so we'll know how this thing is working. We get even some instructions manual here. And here we have this mini PC and we have here all the accessories and as you can see we get even this mounting plate let's say for a TV then this power adapter and a full size HDMI cable and then some screws and to add some additional hard disk space is definitely not difficult we just have to remove these four screws and then we can lift it up from the side just be careful with the screws and you can see we have access to the storage and here we can and also see the nice speaker which is built in. So here's the SSD and here's the RAM. Then regarding the different ports, here we have the audio, here we have two times USB 3.0, we have USB-C and in the back we have also two times USB 3.0, we have HDMI, we have DP port, Ethernet port and power port. So we have everything what we need. You see also it has nice uh, large ventilation here in the back. So I have everything ready to start and you can see I have plugged in everything in the back so there's nothing here in the front. Very nice and so let's turn on the mini PC here from this power button you can see this works as a fingerprint sense and also to power it on and this is the normal Windows 11 setup where, where you can select a language and everything. I don't have to show you that. What's important to not connect to the internet while you're doing the setup. And so we move the cursor here with the tab to the connect automatically. We unselect it with the space bar and then we move to the I don't have internet and here again with continue with limited setup. And only when the setup is finished, we are going to connect to the internet. And so here it also asks for the fingerprint setup. Yeah, okay, uh, let's do that here. We touch the fingerprint sensor and it starts reading that. And so we have to touch it a couple of times till it has read everything. Okay, you can see it didn't take too long and we already have it here. So I finished the installation, you can see it's ready and the really awesome thing is with this fingerprint we can just touch it a little bit and it will almost instantly unlock it so fast. And what I recommend of course is do the Windows update before you do anything because it will slow down the PC when it has to update in the background. I have done this already and I've already downloaded a lot and you can see there is still a whopping 196 gigabytes free so plenty of space to do everything thing do large downloads installations these things absolutely no problem i have even installed open office and you can see when we click on it or like a text document it will open almost instantly it's so fast this is on a very good desktop performance you can see that also during browsing we have eight open tabs at the same time and we can click through the whole thing these are just google tech news and google maps but you can see how fast we can go down scroll up and down now let's focus on youtube here i have a 4k video you can see that's 4k and i'm playing that and you can see it's running super smooth absolutely no lags highest resolution absolutely perfect then here we are on google maps 3d and you can see there's absolute no lags no nothing this is super fast we can 
zoom in, zoom out. Even in large cities like Paris, you can see zooming in, zooming out, absolutely no lags, zero lags. This is so high performance. And so it's not a big surprise that we can also play some of the latest 3D games in very good quality. You can see that here. This is as good as it gets. I've never seen such performance on a mini PC before. That's absolutely super smooth with zero lags even when we play this multiplayer here. So you can see absolutely fantastic watch these animations yeah this is absolutely awesome and even doing this high performance 3d action a pc never got really hot i mean of course it's turned on the fan which usually is absolutely quiet so during normal office work there's usually absolutely no fan to hear of course when we do this 3d action then the fan turns on but it's still very quiet and especially when you have the pc like underneath the desk or so there's almost nothing to hear of course I've also double checked the system information here and it was everything confirmed exactly as described in the listing. You can see 64 bits Windows Professional and one of the latest i5 cores with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And as a final test, I've even made a benchmark test on userbenchmark.com. And as a result, I got a desktop rating of 91%. This is the highest rating which I've ever seen in any kind of mini PC so far. Of course, this is not a gaming PC, this is not a workstation, but this could be the perfect desktop replacement with this value here. And as a description, it gives a nuclear submarine. This is the highest value which I've ever seen. I've never seen that before. And you can see the CPU is performing way above expectations, way above average. What you see with the same CPU in similar PCs and same thing also with the graphics card performing above expectations. I would say this is as good as it gets. And also what we can see, the Wi-Fi reception. Yeah, I haven't shown that before. Uh, this is a really good Wi-Fi reception here. Usually with my old laptop, I've always been struggling on the 5G. And you can see we have three out of four bars. So it has really good Wi-Fi reception. So there's absolutely nothing to complain. Everything working perfect. So I can give you full recommendation. And I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description. So you can check it out and order it out from there. If you like it and i hope you've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time